Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm trying something new. I don't know if this is going to be like a series type thing, but every time I like announce that I'm gonna start doing a certain type of video, I immediately rebel and never do that again. So this is just something I'm feeling this month. If you guys like it, I can continue it. If not, who knows? I kinda just like talking about this stuff cause I'm excited about things. So this is gonna be like an everything but books video thing, chat session, I don't know. Um, I obviously talk about books, that is like what this entire channel is about. It's a booktube channel. Um, but guess what? There's more to my life than books. I know that's hard to believe sometimes based on this, but there is. I just kind of wanted to chat about what's been going on, things that have caught my interest recently, things I'm excited about, and just kind of see how it goes. But I guess I should start with like movies. We've been watching a lot of movies recently, which is rare for us. We go through like weird phases between video games and TV shows and movies and we're on a movies kick right now. So we've been getting a lot of stuff out from Redbox. We recently just got out The Circle, which is the movie with Emma Watson and Tom Hanks based on the Dave Eggers book. And we watched it and it was really, eye-opening. Like, I knew the story going into it. I had seen the trailers, I knew what the premise was, but it was just executed really darkly. And it was very scary to kind of think how close we are to that point. This, in case you didn't know, the whole story is just kind of based on um, how we're so wrapped up in technology and social media and constant updates about every single second of your life and how everybody is involved and it just kind of pushes those boundaries as far as what is going to be required of social media and what is going to be required of society as far as um, privacy issues and it was just it was handled very well I think some of the acting was a little subpar but I will watch anything Emma Watson's in like hello lady crush but it was just heavy like it kind of hit really hard when we finished it we were like whoa that's like very close to where we are in the nation right now. We also just recently watched The Belko Experiment, which is a type of story that I will always love. It is the Battle Royale, Hunger Games, survival dystopian type story where it's pretty much described as office space meets Battle Royale. So I was sold on that and I didn't know how many people were going to be in this cast that I recognized. It was one of those pleasant surprise type movies where every time they showed a new person, I was like, oh, that's so-and-so, and it was pretty cool. This is basically about people who are in, I think it's Colombia, um, but they're all Americans and they show up to work one day and the entire office building gets locked down and a voice comes over the speaker telling them to start killing each other, basically. So it's a battle royale type situation where you have to kind of fight for your life and kill other people in order to not be killed. It was gory, it was gruesome, like, you know, in the the ratings thing where it says rated R for X, Y, and Z, where it says bloody violence throughout, they're not exaggerating. It was a lot of blood throughout it, but it was done really well, and I just really liked it. It was pretty cool. If you're looking for a really gruesome, action-packed, psychological thriller type movie, this is it. As far as TV shows go, we're not watching anything very exciting right now. Uh, for some reason, we've gotten really into Modern Family. That's the type of mood we're in. In like in the summertime, we kind of switch into like sitcom mode. Like I switch into contemporary mode when it comes to reading. I just kind of want lighter stuff. Wintertime is when I get really into like heavy plot-driven stories, whether it's TV or movies or books. Same goes for TV shows for us, I guess, because we've just been watching Modern Family. We've been watching Shark Tank and a lot of HGTV because I will always watch a lot of HGTV forever and ever. But uh, TV shows are kind of on a hiatus for us right now. But I'm really excited for Stranger Things 2. Ever since the trailer for that dropped from Comic-Con, I can't wait. Like, I cannot wait. I know it's coming in October, but I want to just rewatch all of season one, but I know that's gonna happen in like one weekend because that's how we watched it the first time, but I can't wait. Same with the trailer for Ready Player One. Also, beyond excited. Like, duh, so excited for that. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna move on from that. The other show that I'm very excited for just kind of got an article released and a bunch of my friends have been sharing it recently, but I believe it's called Mindhunter and it's coming to Netflix and this is gonna show my morbid self a little bit, 
but it's one of those shows where it gets inside the minds of serial killers and kind of investigates what drives them, what caused it, and their thought process through the whole thing. I love stuff like that. Like, I just, get, I get sucked into those shows, I try and watch one episode, and then 10 hours go by and I'm done the season. It's gonna be one of those, and I'm so excited. I believe it's coming October 13th, I think? I don't know. We'll see. I'm very excited. Fall is gonna be pretty great. Um, what other stuff that I've been watching? As far as YouTube goes, uh, I just recently discovered the Cow Vet channel, Cody Creelman. This is a very uh, niche market for you guys, and I know this is a very foreign thing from BookTube, but in case you didn't know, I kind of live on a little farm. I've worked with horses my entire life. I'm very much an animal-oriented person. I would love to go back to school to be a vet tech. Veterinary stuff is just fascinating to me. Medical stuff in general is very interesting, but I'm pretty sure I could only handle it on the animal scale, not so much on the people scale. Animals are just more my realm. Um, but this is literally a vlog channel, which I love, and it's very dangerous for me to find a new one because I need to like binge watch through a lot and then start on the daily uploads. Um, but this is literally a guy who is a large animal vet and it just is him going on his daily life traveling from farm to farm to farm and don't watch it if you're grossed out by veterinary things because there is a lot of poop there's a lot of gore and blood and all the things that come with veterinary work in that field, but I've been loving it. If you are an animal person at all, highly recommend it. I've also been watching Weedem and Reap. Uh, this is pretty much where like my homesteading thing started. There are a couple channels that I follow religiously, but this family is like my favorite. It's a family in Arizona who just has a very small scale homestead where she gardens, their kids are homeschooled, and they just have some goats and a couple sheep and chickens, and I just love them. Those are the channels that I've been watching the most outside of booktube people and I've been loving it. It's been great. Let's see, what else is there to talk about? I guess we've covered movies, we've covered shows, we've covered YouTube, I guess there's music. Music comes and goes for me as far as listening to stuff, but sadly I've been listening to a lot of Linkin Park because we all know about Chester and that seriously broke my heart. As far as celebrity deaths go, I generally don't get super involved in it. Like I'm not very invested in celebrities, but that one hit really hard. Linkin Park was like, all of my childhood and we were gonna go see them on their Blinkin Park tour coming up like this right now. It's supposed to be going on right now so that was a huge bummer. So we've been listening to a lot of Linkin Park recently just kind of as tribute. Um, I recently rediscovered my love for Astronautilus. In case you guys didn't know, my main go-to favorite music genre is indie rap. I know, that's weird, you probably wouldn't pick that for me. But Astronautilus is what started that love for me. If you guys haven't listened to his stuff, just listen to it. This Is Our Science is a phenomenal album, so is Pomegranate, but for some reason I just kind of missed the release of his most recent one, and then one of his songs came up on Pandora for me, Kurt Cobain, and it was so good. Like, just what? Ugh. I've seen him so many times, like to the point where he knows me because he plays a lot of very small venues and it's just, he is so talented, just so good. I also recently got really into Bishop Briggs, mainly because of this video that was choreographed. It was a dance video. Okay, this is a little tangent here. I have been like fangirling, religiously following the Millennium Dance Studio on YouTube for years now. Like all of the choreographers that go through there, I followed their stuff for an embarrassing amount of time. All of their stuff is very hip hop based, this one video came out choreographed to Bishop Briggs' song, River, just blew me away. It was so good. I will leave it linked down below. I highly recommend checking it out. It's a very short dance video if you're interested in stuff like that, but it was just so breathtaking. Like, oh, uh, I just, I just stare open-mouthed at it. It's so good. But that introduced me into Bishop Briggs, and I love that type of music, and I've just been like binging through her stuff recently, and it's so good. It is so good. So that's gonna be about it for this video. I'm pretty excited for fall. We just had a storm go through this weekend, and it cooled it down a lot. Like, I know we are still in the midst of summer. Like, I know we have a lot of very hot weeks coming up, but just this past day and a half has been like, in the 70s and like cool and cloudy. I am so ready for fall, guys. Like you have no idea. I saw the very first pumpkin spice flavored thing in the store this weekend and I was just like, that's it. 
it's coming, I can feel it coming, I'm so excited. So that's where my head is at. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If this was just a weird rambly video, that's fine. Maybe it'll be a one-time thing, but in case you guys were curious about other stuff in my life that's going on, I can do more of this, like things other than books. But I am also perfectly fine just talking about books on here, so let me know, give me some feedback. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.